Welcome back everyone. Jin Chin Jitsu is the art of releasing tensions that are the cause of various symptoms in the body. Our guest, Jennifer Bradley, opened her private practice back in Lexington in 2008, and she is here to tell us about it today. Welcome to the show, Jennifer. Thank you for having me today. Well, we've just been picking your brain behind the scenes the yes. whole time today, <laughs> so we love it that you're here. Um, let's get right to it, too. What is Jin Shin Jitsu? So Jin Shin Jitsu is a ancient Japanese art. Okay. But actually, we all do this all the time. We just don't know it. Yeah. But the translation into English is the art of the creator through the person of knowing and compassion. All right. So we like the name Jin Shin Jitsu, or in Kentucky, they like to say JSJ. JSJ. <laughs> all right. So, what exactly is Jin Shin Jitsu self help? So, there's kind of two forms. So there's working with a practitioner, okay. right? Lying on a table, keep your clothes on, take your shoes off. We listen to pulses that tells us not what's wrong with you, but what's actually your body's doing to bring itself into balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we work off of that mm -hmm. um, through light touch on the body. Similar to acupuncture, we think of energy moving through the body in these specific pathways. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but rather than using needles, we use our hands. Okay. Similar than acupressure, which actually does touch, but that's pressure. Like yeah. pushing, you can think of those wristbands you can buy at the store for right. going on a cruise. Right. So the self-help component, getting back to that, yeah. is when we do this on our own bodies. Okay. Because actually, we do it all the time. We can do this at home. It's yeah, we can do it at home. But you probably did it when you were a baby. Did you suck your thumb? Because um, if we probably. did that, yeah, that's probably. Jin Shin Jitsu. <laughs> it calms the body. It helps with digestion. Oh. We put our hands behind our heads when we're laying in a hammock. Uh -huh. That relaxes the mind and relaxes the whole body. Wow. Also, all of this has a fancy name to it this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I <ain't> no way. <laughs> there exactly we go. Right. So, so, like, so do you, would you mind giving us like a small demonstration? Sure. So we can do some very simple things. Yeah. My favorites are with the fingers. Okay. Because these are with us all the time. Right. So each finger represents a different emotion. Okay. Okay. We like to make it easy. Get rid of worry fast. So okay. worry, fear. Uh huh. Okay. So that can also be anxiety, mm -hmm. test taking fear, that kind yeah. of thing. Middle finger, I'm sure everybody knows what that is anger. Right. right. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> And also the feeling of being out of control. Because yeah. you know when things are out of control and you don't get your way, what do you do? Yeah. You get mad. Ring finger is about sadness or grief. Uh -huh. It's also connected to our lungs. Mm -hmm. So when you hear someone cry, mm -hmm. you hear that, <gasps> that sadness yeah, yeah. in the breath. Mm -hmm. So that's that connection. And then the pinky finger, I like to think of the little English woman with her cup of tea. Right. Perfectionism. Perfectionism. The try-tos. Uh, okay, so what do we do with those figures then? I mean, how do we so tap we into those different them. energies? Okay. Yeah, so we just tap in, just lightly holding. So just pick one. Okay. Um, I'm going to hold my index finger. Say I'm nervous being on okay. television. Um, and I just lightly hold it in my lap. Okay, so you don't pull it. You, you don't, don't do pull anything it. Like okay. The finger should be able to drop out easily. Yeah. You just set it down, okay. put it in your lap, and breathe. And there's no special kind of breathing. Okay. Too. All right. Just and I regular, just, just regular. Finger. Breath. What finger did you grab? I, I did the I did the pointer. <laughs> you did the pointer uh, finger. Yeah. What was yeah. that one again? That's fear. 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 Yeah. Well, yeah. I automatically grabbed the middle finger. <laughs> What, so do you guess, what do you mean? I'm about? a little angry about something. I don't know. You I don't know what I got. Uh, maybe. Look, we'll just talk after the show. I, I, right? just, oh, right. I don't know we, what we to do. We're going to get through this, all right? For real. All right, thank you. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it's really interesting. And you, you also said that this is not only for humans, but it's also for animals, too. Yes. Is that correct? It's amazing. Yeah. I work with dogs, mm -hmm. cats, and horses. Those uh -huh. are my three favorite. And they love this work. Now, of course, these locations on the body, they're not points like an acupuncture. They're about the size of your palm. Okay. So mm -hmm. think of a horse, size of the hoof, mm -hmm. calf, cat, size of, the, of their little paw. Yeah. So we can put our hands gently on them. And the great thing about the animals is they will adjust and let you know where they want the work. And when they're done, 
they walk away. That is so funny because yeah. I do. I massage my dog every morning when she gets out of the crate. We were talking about yeah, this. Yeah, that's fantastic. And she does, and she lays right down every morning when she gets out. She waits for me to do it. She will not leave our room until I am doing that for her. And she'll roll over, and she'll like she'll straighten out her leg when I hit a good spot for her. She, it's so funny, but she does react to this. It does yes. calm her. And I, you know, when we were talking about this, I thought that's really interesting. Well, you know, that sounds like one of my client dogs. Yeah. When I come to visit, because I do home visits, he sees me coming, walks me to the door. We go inside. He walks and sits in his bed and waits for me. Isn't that cute? So they know. Awesome. They know what's going to help <laughs> them. Yes, it's exactly. excellent. Now, you have a class that you're going to be teaching, too, at the yes. uh, Lexington Library. Let's talk about that real quick, too. So this, I'm going to teach three classes. The first okay. one is... Okay. Saturday. Okay. The next two will be in March. Okay. This one specifically about Jinshin Jitsu, just an overview. Uh -huh. But we're focusing on stress, anxiety, and sleep. So it's at the East Side Branch from 10 to 1130. 10 to 1130. Okay. So my goal is to just let people know what this is yeah. and teach them that they can really do things for their own self-care. Yeah, yeah. And you yeah. also have some March classes coming up, too. What are those going right. to um, talk now about? Those are going to be the animal classes. Oh, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I have this darling little Stormy Love, who is an Australian doodle mix. Yeah from a fabulous um, breeder in Richmond, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And so I'll be bringing her with me to demonstrate and we teach how to do some of these things, but we're also gonna focus again on stress anxiety because it's just what's happening to everybody. Well, you know what? There's a little bit of stress out there in this yes. world, isn't there? Uh, yeah, I, didn't know, I didn't know dogs got stressed out. Who would have who would have knew? You know? Well think about a rescue. Think about a new dog in a new home. Yeah. You know, I mean, we they all do. need that. Well, we thank you so much, Jennifer, yeah, for being you. with thank us too you. today. We really Thanks appreciate it. Me. And we have all of your information up on the screen. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. We will be back tomorrow, so keep watching Midday Kentucky.